Emma Raducanu stunned the whole world when she became the first British woman in 53 years to win the US Open title in 2021 at just 18 years. After her spectacular achievement, the British star has backed several endorsements and has had the whole world talking about her. Legends in the game have also voiced what they think of the British star. Here's what Chris Everett has to say. Tennis icon Chris revealed in an interview that by winning the 2021 U.S. Open, Emma Raducanu now has a target on her back for the remainder of the 2022 season. She believes that Emma is what it takes to go far in tennis, but because of her recent success and regular fixtures on tour, players are starting to get her game style and tactics in matches, which is why the British star has struggled a bit. Chris said that Emma has a high ceiling, but she wasn't sure when it was going to be seen because there were many great players around. She defended the Brit following her recent performances, saying Emma was still young with time to improve her game. She further explained that it was normal to have a little setback after winning a first Grand Slam, stating that most of the women who won their first Grand Slam have struggled as well. Chris believes that despite the fact that Emma seems to be raking in a lot of money due to endorsement, she genuinely feels that tennis is still a number one priority for her. She admitted that it was going to be tough for Emma because there was a target on her back with players gunning for it. Players were well aware she might not have the same confidence she had at the US Open or the unpredictability. Chris explained that these players now know Emma's game, especially after her Grand Slam win. She said, after a new player wins a Grand Slam, coaches tend to get statistics to find out about the player's style, gameplay, pattern, and tactics. According to her, Emma will be feeling a bit more pressure, which might affect her results in matches. But with time and hard work, she'll figure it out. She also tipped her to become a top five player. Chris further said that she was impressed with Emma's composure as well as her thinking. She claims she noticed her intelligence in her interviews. According to Chris, Emma's doing a good job of managing the pressure comes with being a top British player after the teenager was criticized, not being committed enough to the sport. She claims that being a British tennis star is certainly not easy because of media scrutiny. When you're doing great, the media places you on top of the world. But when you seem to be playing a little bit bad, the media will come for your neck. The multiple Grand Slam champion said, To be a superstar in the UK is one of the toughest things ever for a player. Tougher than being a superstar in America, where there are many other athletes in other sports. I think with the tabloids in England, it's brutal. They basically camp out on your doorstep if you're a superstar. That's not good. After Emma made history at the 2021 US Open by becoming the first British woman to win a Grand Slam singles in 44 years, Boris Becker shared an interview with Eurosports that the young Brit was already a superstar. Boris explained that it must have been a supreme feeling for Emma to get a personal letter from the Queen of England. He said, if that's not a tribute, I don't know what else there is to come. He added that the dance is just starting and she has to follow up on her performances, especially with the benchmark high already. Boris warned that Emma was going to play badly and lose once in a while. He said a whole new journey through time had started for the youngster, but he hoped the environment around her continued to protect her, reassure her, and help her remember her priorities. Still speaking in the same interview, he explained that Emma was so popular because she won and nothing else. He said the speech after her victory was as if she had done it multiple times before, as she spoke intelligently. Retired British professional Tim Henman also heaps praise on Emma, and here's what he has to say. Tim once backed Emma to win many more big titles, and he also revealed that he loved her work ethic and attitude at the just-concluded Australian Open. Where Emma came through a tough first round against former US Open champion, but later lost in three sets to Donka Kovinich after struggling with hand blisters. He stated that even though Emma has had a challenging start to her 2022 season, he's loved her attitude and work ethic and believes there's going to be many more opportunities ahead for Emma. Tim stated, I think it's the same conversation with young players like Janich Sinner or Carlos Alcaraz. We just need to be patient. 
Emma's the least experienced of all these players. She has hardly played that many professional tournaments and is only in her third Grand Slam. He explained that although she had won one Grand Slam, she still needed time to develop and learn her trade, as well as improve all aspects of her game. He believes she would go ahead and win many more big titles in the future if she could apply his advice. According to the ex-British professional, Emma's still a little inexperienced, so people need to be patient with her. He said there's going to be highs and lows and bumps in the road, but with her tennis ability, athleticism, training, mental toughness, and resilience, the youngster would do just fine. He also explained that the upcoming clay tournaments would be a massive opportunity for Emma to keep developing, irrespective of the results. As he believes the foundation work put in on the clay court will pay off on other surfaces. Tennis icon David Ferrer, who won the Davis Cup three times with Spain, once revealed that Emma had a bright future ahead of her and it wasn't going to be easy for her to handle the pressure following her US Open exploits. He explained that he was looking forward to how she handled pressure in the future because it'd be important for the youngster. He concluded by saying Emma had an amazing career and could definitely pick up more Grand Slams in the future. In an interview with Eurosport, Alex explained that Emma's achievement was unique, something he had never seen before. He said that Emma was aggressive from the beginning of the tournament and dealt well with the pressure. He admitted that she showed she was ready for the big stage after winning 10 matches in a row to claim the title. Alex then spoke about comparisons with other players. He said that it was unnecessary to compare Emma with other players because everyone had their own style and process. Her style suits the hard courts because she's low and can hit balls through the courts. He also said that the Brit played perfectly. Her backhand, forehand, return, footwork, and mind worked perfectly. According to Alex, it was unlikely to see such a performance from a player from the qualifiers again. The fact that she didn't lose games or sets to win the Grand Slam was incredible. That's great news for tennis, especially women's tennis and sports in general. Due to the criticism of Emma's performances post-US Open, Alex, in another interview, pleaded for people to be patient with the youngster. He explained that it was going to take some time for the teenager to adjust the limelight and expectations of people. He explained that Emma needed to adjust and adapt to a different lifestyle because she wasn't a little girl anymore. She's a star, Alex exclaimed. If you're a star, it's another circumstance. You need to deal with totally different moments and everybody expects so much from you, he added. But above all, she needs to go slowly, without expectations from people and work at her own pace. He said she didn't need to feel like she had to win another Grand Slam. She just needed to put down the pressure and take it one game at a time. Alex admitted that although he wasn't sure when Emma was going to win more Grand Slams, he was confident she would win more Grand Slams when she was ready. He added that she just needed a little more time to know how everything works now that players knew her better. Despite her recent form, do you think Emma can still go ahead and win more Grand Slams? Comment below.